there. That's eight team fouls on Eastern Washington. The first on Gibson. And Matt Bolden with seven points on three of six shooting. Hits his first free throw of this game. Matt Bolden, one of the players that will be up for West Coast Conference Player of the Year this year, Craig, has uh, Rop with the offensive rebound. And now Harris with it. Is Bolden the best player in the West Coast Conference? Uh, there's a good guy down at San Francisco that can really score the basketball. St. Mary's. Uh, no, Dior. Uh oh. oh. Dio Lohorn, you're yeah. talking to USF. Lohorn, yeah. And uh, I thought you were talking about Omar Sam Hammett. Well, he's St. doing Mary's. well, too. Eastern running it out. But Gibbs can't finish the break opportunity. You know, if you can't dunk it, make sure that you put the ball in, in the hole. You need the points at this point of your Eastern, so every opportunity you get at the basket, make sure it goes in. If you got to take it to the other side and lay it up to keep the defender from you, use that move. But don't miss those bunnies like that or gimmies. Bolden. Open three. Matt really on in this first half for Gonzaga. Now 11 points. But he's been as good defensively as he's been offensively in the first almost 15 minutes. And, and you know, for, for Matt and even myself at times, sometimes it was my defense that got me going offensively also. And if you get a little, like Matt's got like, what, four or five deflections, steals out front, easy baskets. It's got him a lot of confidence on the offensive end. So credit his defense tonight for getting his offense going. That's just a pretty shot. He got over on the weak side. He set himself up. Stephen Gray was, you know, they're all taught to penetrate and go as far as you can. Stephen does a nice job. And again, the passer makes the shooter. I know it sounds redundant, but, you know, if Matt had to catch that ball at his ankles, there's no way he gets that shot off. If the ball's right in the shooting pocket, then it's an easy shot and a good rhythm for the shooter. It's a big week for Gonzaga, this game tonight. New Ooh. Year's Eve, they're, they're down at the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena against Oklahoma. Tickets still remain for that game. By the, by the way, way, yeah, I saw uh, Jared Keeper today at the at the high school basketball tournament. He said make sure uh, that people do realize that for the Oklahoma game on New Year's Eve, uh, Ticketmaster still has tickets available. And then they play Illinois on the road in Chicago, a neutral site, a so-called neutral site on Saturday. Big week for Gonzaga. And the foul called here on Harris or Goodson. I believe they gave it to Dimitri Goodson. And that's two on Dimitri and eight on Gonzaga. So Dean already with nine points, an opportunity to get to double figures. Well, the way Gonzaga guards that particular play, where he's uh, a big guy for Eastern, comes over the screen. Dimitri gets right on the backside of Dean, and then the, the post player or the person that's coming over to set the screen. Uh, and you're guarding him is to get up on the top side of him and keep him from going over the screen or if he does force him out towards the, the midcourt and Dean did a nice little hesitation move. Dimitri was trying to catch up. Dimitri ran right into the back of Dean. Dean played at Roosevelt High School in Seattle averaging 9.8 points a game. He's already better than his average with 11 now. Here's Harris or uh, Stephen Gray. They tried to go inside, taken away by Gibbs. And now Gibson bounce pass to Moore. Bad pass. You can't throw it to your big guy at his ankles. <laughs> I don't care That's how big he is. If he's playing that position, he isn't going to catch it. And Rob is red hot from behind the arc. He's hit three straight now. Gonzaga's lead is at 20. You know, not only is Manny shooting the ball well in this game, he's led the, the Zags in three of the last four games in rebounding. So if he puts his game all together, he could get a lot more minutes out there. And he had a chance at a rebound there, but lost it. Manny Roth, an exciting freshman for Gonzaga. And this is the largest lead that the Zags have had here tonight. You know, obviously Bolden and Faustin are Foster are seniors, but this is a young team for Gonzaga. Yeah, you, you're talking as a, far as eligibility a, goes. A true sophomore point guard in Dimitri Goodson, although he got valuable minutes last year. 
Gonzaga trying to trap there, got it to Dunn. Then he threw a shoulder into Goodson. And now Dean has it blocked by Harris. And this is the junior Gray, sophomore Sacre. Freshman Harris and a chance for three. Good ball movement and a good run out by Elias Harris, finding the spot on the floor where it was wide open and then having the ball delivered to him. Four minutes and 19 seconds to play in this first half. Gonzaga now leading it by 22. And Craig, this game's going to get away from Eastern Washington here real quick if they don't if they don't start slowing GU down, who's shooting 57.7 percent on 15 to 26, but they're getting killed on the boards. Yeah, you know that's what we talked about in the pregame was the one thing that uh, Coach Earlywine's always told us if his teams have any chance at being in ball games, they have to rebound. They only average 35 rebounds a game. And I think their opponents are right about 38, so there's a, a negative margin there. But that usually happens when you have a smaller team out there on the floor. And Elias Harris with 11 points for Gonzaga. He's perfect 4-4. Four four. Yeah, I think uh, Elias has just got a real knack for the basketball. He just kind of plays off the rest of the guys, and then here's showing some diversity, getting out way out there and shooting the three ball, though he's made some three balls this year. Did you say diversity? Did I say that? I think so, but I, I like just made that up word. word. I don't know if it's a word, but I like that. I, I made actually it up. like I actually like the versatility <laughs> better than versatility. You know, us Texans are allowed to make words up, so. Elo, you're allowed to do anything you want. <laughs> I like the versatility. I might have to start using them. Try that on your uh, fishing show, so she's on a fly. <laughs> I should. I have a lot of diversified flies. More. <laughs> Here's the rebound by Stephen Gray. Boy, Eastern not even going after the offensive boards. They had four guys back on Bo uh, Brandon Moore's uh, je mess, uh, jumper. Gray, corner. He gets into the act. Gonzaga now 7 of 10 from behind the three-point line. So do you think that uh, game in, against Duke is out of their minds? Out of their minds. 1 of 10 for three-pointers. Not really getting one till what? 10 seconds left in the game. Elias Harris leading Gonzaga with 11 points. Two right there. Gonzaga up big in Spokane. Conference preview coming up at the half. We're going to take a look at who's the teams that are going to give Gonzaga the most trouble. Well, St. Mary's right now thought there'd be some letdown with Patty Mills going, but Omar Sanhans really stepped up uh, down there and then played very well. He's been the uh, West Coast player a week a couple of times. Yeah, Sam Han has been the uh, West Coast Conference Player of the Week three times. Three times, yeah. He's averaging like 18 points and 15 boards. But who have they played? <laughs> well, well, we'll find out. I mean, okay. we'll find out. You tell me who they played, and I'll tell you. In Zagville, Sam Han has been one of the most hated players over the years. Yeah, he's, there, there's no love lost there, is there? How about T.J. Pellerino? Cold off the bench. And then knocks it down from 15 feet. I think GJ knows what to do with the basketball when he gets it. Now, sometimes you want your players to play a few minutes down, run up and down the floor before you take a first shot, but GJ proving us wrong on that one. Valentine off the side of the glass and Gonzaga's bench outscoring Eastern Washington's bench 15 zip. You know, we talked about the starters not playing well and shoot or shooting the ball well against Duke. The bench just wasn't any better. They were nine. Uh, Villarino driving again, block called. I tell you what, G.J. Villarino, another freshman for Mark Few. This kid is instant offense. He comes in off the bench, Craig, and he's got that mentality. I'm either going to go to the rim or I'm going to shoot it and make it. Yeah, you're exactly right. No question about it. And I think that drives Coach Few a little bit crazy sometimes. But uh, you know what? The kid plays with a lot of confidence when he gets out there. He knows what he does well with the basketball, and that's get to the rim and get there as fast as you can. Well, and over these next four years for GJ, they'll try to they'll try to build some discipline in that, but they do.